Hey guys, it's Sabrina from K Darlings. Um, this is kind of awkward for me. <laughs> I'm by myself today. Okay, um, the leader of our group has informed us it's time to make some introduction videos because I know there's some people in comments and stuff that are asking questions about us that want to know a little bit more since there are more than just one person on the YouTube channel. Um, so I, gu I guess we're supposed to introduce ourselves. Um, I'm Sabrina. I'm, I guess, considered the maknae of the group, the, the youngest, um, but only by a minute. Uh, Regina is like a minute older than I am, and um, I know BJ is older than I am, so I guess I'm the baby. I'm going to count that minute. I'm the baby. Um, um, I'm a mom. I work part-time. I'm a writer. I write under the name Sabrina D. Guthrie. I'm a romance writer. I'm in love with love. What can I say? I love happily ever afters. So um, that's what I do in my spare time. My full-time job is being a mom, um, but also being a caretaker for my oldest daughter, who is severely autistic. Um, she can't speak. She's nonverbal. She can use simple command words. So I'm a really, 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 really huge advocate of the special needs um, community for adults and children. Um, I think it's a, I didn't realize how much that the community needs advocacy until I had a child that was disabled. So, and you can actually see her in the background because when I'm not working, she's my full-time job. Um, she's usually with her teachers whenever I'm YouTubing or writing or something like that. So, But every other time she's with me and she's never very far away from me. She's very attached to her mom. Uh, <laughs> Vivi, say hey. You say hey? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so that was good, wasn't it? Great. Uh, sure. Love you. Love you. Mwah. <laughs> She's my full-time job. She's my world. Um, I was asking Regina and BJ the other day, or Regina, what are we supposed to say in our introduction video? I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, when it comes to how I got into um, the type of music that we listen to now and why we started the YouTube channel, I guess you could say I'm the newbie newbie of the group. I'm literally the newbie newbie of the group. Um, Regina and BJ both had been exposed to it before me. I did not get into the community until um, a year ago and I was introduced to the K-drama Cinderella and the Four Nights by my sister Regina. She's the one who introduced me and that's where I also discovered um, K-pop uh, and then of course uh, it wasn't very long after that that we started the channel and have been introduced to so much more so and i've really really enjoyed it i've enjoyed getting to know everybody and being part of something like this so it's been a lot of fun because my life is very busy and, and pretty hectic um did you finish did you finish okay. i think that was it you want to go look you can go look <laughs> She communicates with making noises. She can say simple command words and um, she uh, uses gestures. Um, not really sign language, but um, we did try to do sign language once, but it didn't go over very well because the problem is she wants to use her words, but she has a difficult time trying to voice what she wants. Um, I'm going to take a pause right here because she's probably getting to something she doesn't need to get into. Let me go check on her really fast and be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh, we went to the grocery store today and yeah, yeah. she loves yogurt. So she's trying to dig out all the yogurt in my refrigerator. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I guess a lot of people have questions about like what are our favorites, what are our ultimates. Um, uh, Regina and I get the question, are we twins? Um, how old, how old are we, I guess? Uh, all those kind of questions. Um, first, yes, we are twins. Um, like I said before, I'm like a minute younger. I was the itty bitty one. Um, we're in our, we're both in our thirties. Woohoo! Um, about actually, um, now I guess I need to tell you, someone was asking the other day on the comments what our ultimate biases are. Okay. 
I know that we all have different preferences. We all have different tastes. That's what makes um, the, the beauty of having so much of us on the channel. Um, if I had to pick my ultimate, ultimate bias in K-pop, my ultimate group is VIX. They are the one of the first groups besides B2B that got me introduced to K-pop. Um, I still don't know everything about them because I'm a newbie. I'm really a newbie. <laughs> um, but I'm learning. But they were, they were my, I guess you can say my first love. I love them. I, I love that they, they, the concept kings and everything else. And like I said, I still have a lot to learn. Still have um, a lot of music videos I haven't watched by them. Um, and I'm, I'm really hoping that we get to those soon because I know we've also had requests. So they're, they're probably my number one. Um, it's really hard to give you a list because I'm a multi fandom. So um, I have a lot of favorites and I don't have a lot of. Um, if I had to say, oh, what's my top five? I don't think I could do it. But I will tell you some of my favorites. But I will tell you, I have a special place in my heart for Vix. So that one, that would probably be my ultimate favorite. Um, but I love Seventeen, Winter, Newest. Um, uh, I'm moment like I should have wrote all this down. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I don't have enough time for that. Okay. Um, newest, um, Icon. Uh, um, Big Bang, uh, recently K and K has won me over. Um, in fact, oh my gosh, I love In fact. Uh, I don't think they get enough attention, but I love them. I like, I love them. I listen to their music all the time. In fact, um, Ace, uh, um, oh my goodness, ah, I know I'm forgetting someone. Mm, BTS, uh. Okay, I'm thinking. Anyway, those are some of them. There's a lot more, but those are probably all in my, if I had to give like a top 20, um, they, they would all be included in that top 20. Uh, I really love them. So, um, and I'm gonna forget somebody. Ultimate bias. Ah, uh, there's a lot of those too, because I can tell you, I have one in just about every group. If I had the list, my number one, um, most people know that I'm in love with Ravi from Vix and Hongbin. I love both of them very, very much. Um, there's something about them. I just really like, um, I really like them as artists. Um, I love that Robbie's got that deep voice. Uh, most people also know that I really, 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 really love, um, certain voices, unique voices, um, which now that we're getting into other genres of music, um, like the Chinese music industry and Taiwanese and, um, the Vietnamese and, and, uh, um, Dimash, uh, and I'm not even going to try to say that country right now because I know I'll mess it up. <laughs> um, I'm really in love with like Dimash's low notes, like totally, 100%. Uh, my favorite, favorite vocal um, tone, if, I, if someone said, okay, what's your favorite vocal tone that you love a whole lot? Um, I had to list one person that sings with that t particular tone. It would be Jay Chow. I love, I love his, I love his tone. Like I love that low tone. I love that kind of growlish um, timber in his voice or something. I don't know if I'm describing it right. <laughs> Bree, Bree is watching Dinosaur Train, y'all. She loves dinosaurs, so that's why she's laughing. You probably hear my TV in the background. Like dinosaurs are her favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> we have. Stuffed dinosaurs, we have um, toy dinosaurs, we have, if it's dinosaur, we probably own it. Anyway, <laughs> so that's that's how I got into all of that. Um, I don't know what else to say about myself. This is not easy. Okay. Uh, and I feel awkward, so. Okay. Outside of, like, personally about ourselves, if I had to say, okay, who are you as a person? Um, I'm the quiet one, probably. I'm the quietest one of the group. Um, this is probably the most talking I've ever done. Usually I'm the one that always smiles. And I will put my input when I get really excited about something. Um, I'm also probably one of the shyest. I'm an introvert, so I tend to be really shy when I first meet somebody. And then when I open up, I'm, I'm good after that, you know. Um, I'm a very kind person. I believe in kindness very much like kindness is the number one thing for me like really I love it I just I just 
<laughs> I feel like the world would be a better place with more of it. <laughs> uh, and maybe that's from raising a special needs child. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with the paranormal. Don't laugh. It's just who I am. Um, I had an experience a few years ago um, when I was living in Georgia that I can't explain. It was, it was pretty terrifying, but it made me curious. So I guess I kind of am obsessed when I'm not obsessed with K-dramas or Taiwanese dramas or Chinese dramas. I'm kind of obsessed with like um, the paranormal stuff, watching all the paranormal reality shows that we have in America, and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. I've even had the privilege of joining um, an investigative group quite a few times. It's a very interesting experience. There's a lot of questions that I want answered. Um, probably will never get answered, but you know, that experience left place with me, and I always, you know, I just something I'm interested in so that's probably something else I guess about me um, I don't know what else to say I'm easy to make friends with if you're on Twitter you're talking to me so if you go to K darlings on Twitter I run our Twitter account uh, I have several different very close subscribers that I talk to all the time and sometimes through private message so uh, I've made a lot of really great friends in our community since we've started. So message me, talk to me, uh, hang out with me if you go to Twitter. 90% of the time it's me. Every once in a while someone will leave something for Regina and I'll be like, Regina, go to Twitter real quick. You need to answer something. Um, but she runs our Instagram and our Facebook account. So if you're on one of those, you're most likely talking to Regina. Very seldom do I skip over there. Um, Facebook I get on. But... Um, I don't, she usually runs the Instagram account fully. So if you come over to Twitter, you're talking to Sabrina, you're talking to me, uh, you get to see my silliness, my pictures, all the things that I like. So if you really, 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 really want to know who my biases are and who my ultimates are, um, go to Twitter because I share a lot of them. <laughs> like I said, um, oh my God, I forgot VAV. See, I told you I would think of stuff. Oh, I'm in love with VAV, y'all. I got to go to their concert and I got to go to Winner's concert. And I was really excited about both. So they're, they're both two of my absolute favorites. Um, I got to meet um, the VAV guys. We got to shake hands with them. So that was really cool. Uh, Fascinated with languages. Um, that's another thing. Uh, I love them. They're like crossword puzzles for me. Uh, I love playing with them. Um, I can speak some Korean. I won't do it right now because I'll probably make myself look stupid. I understand it better than I can probably speak it because I do have an accent so my pronunciation is probably not great. I can actually read Hangul. <clears throat> uh, I may not understand what I'm reading all the time because I'm only on like level three of of learning Korean so um, I could I could go to the country and and uh, I could visit Korea right now and probably be okay on transportation and eating and uh, where I'm gonna stay and all the other stuff I'm cool with all that um, might get a little difficult later on you know but uh, Mandarin Mandarin is probably the hardest language I have figured out to learn because everything is so tonal um, but believe it or not it's not as hard as I thought it was gonna be so um, I can speak some Mandarin don't ask me about the alphabet y'all it's difficult like I thought English was hard <laughs> so um, I'm obsessed with learning languages I like to learn them I like to speak them um, but I'm not always confident in myself so I speak them more here than I do <laughs> like on YouTube uh, but if you have probably left this messages in Hangul, uh, most of the time I can actually, I can read it. I may not always know what the word means, but I can read it. Um, oh, it's already 10 minutes. Okay, so I've probably talked 15 minutes. I swore with myself I'd only talk 15 minutes because nobody wants to listen to me ramble for like 30 minutes. Okay. What else was I supposed to talk about? Oh, dramas. Mm. My favorite drama of all time. Ooh, I guess the first drama I ever saw, Cinderella and the Four Nights, um, was one of my favorites. Um, I really love dramas that have happy endings. <laughs> I like dramatic dramas too, but I'm a romance writer, so I kind of want that ATA, the happy, happily ever after. Um, 
I'm watching Go Go Squid right now and I love it. Love it. Um, um, Goblin was one of my favorites. That was pretty dramatic. I cried a lot in there in that one. Uh, we'd be here forever if I talked about dramas, y'all, because I've seen so many and I have so many favorites. It's not even funny. Uh, if I talk about actors, Yoon Chi Yoon is one of my absolute favorites. I love him. Something about him just... I'm in love with him, like, a lot. <laughs> like, seriously, I wish I could meet him. Um, I guess that's it, guys. I don't know what else to say about myself. Oh, my gosh. My video is going to be so awkward next to BJ's and Regina's. They're really good at this stuff. I suck at it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, that's me in a nutshell. I'm me. I'm a mom. I'm a writer. I'm a YouTuber. Um, I love K drum. I love uh, K pop. I love Chinese uh, music, uh, Taiwanese, um, any genre. You share it with me. I'll probably, I probably I'm willing to listen. Um, I'm an all around really good person. Uh, love people. Love um, the community. Uh, I'm really easy to talk to, so if you want to talk, you can always come talk to me. Uh, I think that's it. Brianna's behind me going, Mom, nobody really wants to listen to this, you know. But she's too intent on Dinosaur Train right now. Anyway, guys, um, I will see you guys on the channel. If you have any other questions for me, just leave a comment. I'll answer it for you. Um, and I guess that's it. Oh, I guess, wait. That's what I'm saying, Mom. I know BJ and Regina will probably talk about this. I have three, three kids. Yeah, they're all my babies. That's my full-time job. Uh, any other questions? Just ask. Bye, guys. <laughs>